Here we have a NEMA 23 Mosolver servo motor mounted to a Lintec linear belt actuator. The Mosolver is connected to a Silver Sterling S2IG servo controller. The Silver Sterling servo controller is loaded with several programs to be executed. A Red Lion HMI instructs the controller which program to run. In this application, the HMI transmits commands via RS-485. First, we'll home the motor to a hard stop to find zero. A home to hard stop eliminates the need for a home sensor. So I'll go ahead and go to the homing menu and touch the home to hard stop button. Now that the motor is homed, the HMI shows a homed label in green. Now we'll go, go ahead and go back to the main menu. And now we have two uh, additional functions, a joystick function and a position function. We'll go into the uh, joystick function. In the joystick function, we can jog the motor in either direction by pressing and holding one of these jog buttons. And as we jog the motor, we'll notice the position of the motor updating. Currently, the position is being shown in counts. We can change the units if we touch the count, now the positions are shown in inches. And if we, uh, if we touch inches again, now we have the positions in millimeters. We'll go back to the main menu and we'll go to the positions function. In the position function, we can instruct the motor to go to a specific position. So we'll go ahead and enter the position. So we'll give it a position of 50 millimeters. and hit the go to position button. So we'll give it a new position. Of 100 millimeters. We can also enter the position in inches if we touch the millimeter units. We're now in inches. And we'll give it a position of 12 inches and go to position. And now we'll have it cycle between its home position and the uh, current position of 12 inches. We can do that by going to the number of cycles. A Lintec build driven linear actuator paired with a Quicksilver motor breaks the normal barrier of requiring a gearbox to be between the motor and the actuator as to get within a motor to load inertia of 10 to 1. A Quicksilver system can do a 100 to 1 mismatch of inertia, therefore eliminating the requirement and cost of a gearhead 
in a bill-driven linear actuator application.